I C P. Now while I'm in the restroom, <laughs> ideal customer profile. What is that? Why does it matter? Well, the ideal customer profile simply says that if you market to a specific ideal customer, you're much more likely to get conversions and you're much more likely to grow your business. Why? Money is a limited resource. Advertising funds have to produce an ROI, a return on your investment. So if you're taking the shotgun approach of advertising to everybody out there, many people will not be able to afford your product or service. And so if you concentrate your funds on your ideal customer, you're more likely to get them to sign up for your product or service. As an example, you would not see Apple take out an ad for their new iPhone with somebody muscular like me at the gym taking selfies. Why? I'm not their ideal customer. It doesn't mean that a sharp dressed, well, appropriately uh, muscular man like myself would be doing that at a gym, but I'm not their ideal customer. But if you ever look at an iPhone ad, it'll always have the hand of a woman, usually manicured nails and that kind of stuff. That's their ideal audience. Doesn't mean that they won't sell Rudy a phone or any of your other guys a phone, but that's not their ideal customer. And so they know who they should target to and they message their marketing around who their ideal customer is. You and I can do the same thing. We'll save money on marketing, we'll get a better return on investment, and once you identify who your ideal customer is, you have to find out where they are emotionally, psychologically, physically, and electronically. If they're on Instagram, don't advertise on TikTok because that's not where your ideal audience is. If they're shopping at Needless Markup, then you may want to connect with people there and give them a gift certificate. I gave a talk this uh, yesterday to a med spa and they said, oh, we put up specials on Facebook, on Instagram all the time. Are your customers? Yeah, they're there, but um, you know, right now they're having to make a decision whether or not they get Botox or pay for their groceries, whether or not they buy gas or they come and get laser treatment done. I said, well, I don't think that your ideal customer is making a decision between those two things. However, what if you took a, since you have excess capacity right now and time, why don't you take $250 gift certificates and take them to a high-end store La Cantera or North Shore Mall and give them to a purse salesman or whatever and say, hey, would you mind spiffing some of your best customers to come in and get a free treatment from us? That would be their ideal customer. And then I said, what's the best question you can ask an ideal customer? The, especially one that you give a sample to or free product or service to. After we fix this, what would be the next thing you'd want for us to work on? And then that is already your recurring revenue stream. So if you wanna have a more successful business and be somewhat recession resistant as we're going into tighter times in 2023, then find your ideal customer profile and market specifically to them.